If you find my information useful or helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you'd like to see a certain video done covering a particular repair or topic, go ahead and leave me a comment. No guarantees, but if there's enough viewer interest, I might be able to go ahead and shoot a video specifically about something that you're asking about. So, thank you very much for watching, and I do appreciate your time. So let's get on with the video. This is the B-Side X1 digital multimeter and voltage probe. It comes in a semi-rigid case with a zipper and test probes. These are non-standard test probes, non-standard in that the connection that goes to the bottom of the tester uses a different sized connector than what's standard. So if you lose these or if the probes get broken in some way, you need to order new ones, you'll have to go back to ALI Express or some other online company that sells them. So this B-Side X1 costs about 20 US dollars with free shipping and shipping from China to the United States took about two weeks. And this was purchased in December of 2021. Let's turn it on and you'll get a look at what things look like. Red button is a power switch. Okay, and it, when you turn it on, it goes automatically into auto measurement mode. Whatever you attach to it, a voltage, a resistor, a piece of wire for continuity measurement, it attempts to detect what you're trying to do. Of course, for voltage measurement, AC or DC, it goes up to 500 volts, and the input voltage has to be a minimum amount. About, I think, around 0.7 of volts in order for it to register as a voltage. So, and if your resistance is 30 ohms or less, it treats it as a continuity measure, in which case it sounds the buzzer. But this is essentially a, a handy tester for checking out voltages, for checking out uh, if uh, an electrical wire is live or not. And so basically, uh, this is not intended as a high precision test instrument, but it's used for quick and convenient checkout of electrical wires and voltages. And so uh, you'll see here, the uh, machine, well, this unit has two buttons to power switch and turns it back on and off. And then you have a button below it, which if you press it, it goes into high sensitivity, non-contact voltage measurement. And you hold it again, turns it off and you're back to automatic measurement. Now, if you quick press the bottom button, the flashlight comes on. This is the X1 model, which does not have infrared temperature measurement. The X2 model is identical to this unit, except it's got non-contact infrared temperature measurement and the temperature sensor is at the front. Now let me go turn off the flashlight. And again, it's in automatic mode. So this unit is intended primarily as a voltage checker, voltage tester, and it's particularly a non-contact voltage tester. It is very sensitive, it's very good at detecting voltage, particularly AC voltage from a distance. And we'll show you here in a moment. We're gonna go ahead and put this up to the outlet. And for you in Europe, this is of course the mains. And this is 120 volts, and we're not getting a detection. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna flip this into high sensitivity mode and press the blue button. That's high sensitivity. If we go ahead and bring it up to it, it actually picks up the voltage. And you can see from the bar graph at 120 volts on your hot side of the electrical line, it's showing the detection. Now we pull it back and nothing. So we're probably about around three inches away from the outlet and the tip of the tester to the hot lead and we are about around an inch or so an inch away non-contact it still detects the ac voltage so that's fairly sensitive i want to add that this b side x1 is more sensitive than a number of other voltage probes that i've used also it's more sensitive than a number of digital multimeters that have built-in voltage detection so uh, you might want to consider this if you want something that's got high sensitivity. Now, um, let's go ahead and 
flip it back to okay regular mode which is automatic flick off the flashlight now notice on the normal sensitivity setting it does not detect the voltage okay so we're going to go ahead and flip into the high sensitivity again and it detects it so if you had wires particularly uh, plastic insulated wires in a wall and it was close enough to the surface maybe like a few inches away this could probably be used to detect them so uh, this is very useful for that feature and uh, of course it does the standard AC DC voltage and resistance measurements there's no diode check in this X1 and there is no capacitance check either now let's go ahead and run through the other functions this is a 750 kilo ohm resistor and of course the X1 is set to automatic mode let's touch the lead down and let's watch it pick up the reading 761 kilo ohms so it's pretty good and it works as you can see let's go ahead and check for voltage now of course we have a, a mains electrical socket and this is a United States so it would be 120 volts and again the meter is set to 100 uh, set to automatic measurement let's put the test lead into the hot lead here the hot side of the outlet And we have 121 point, 122 volts at 60 hertz, 60 cycles. So the, the bottom number, the 60, is the frequency measurement. It'll actually measure frequency up to 1 kilohertz. So the 122 volts, this is the correct mains voltage here for us in the United States. In my opinion, the B-Side X1 is a very useful a tool, a good tool for your toolbox. Its main strength is that it is a non-contact voltage detector. And this is probably one of the most sensitive non-contact voltage detectors I have used. It's certainly more sensitive than most multimeters that have a built-in non-contact voltage detection. And so I would say that the, for its price, which is very cheap, around 20 US dollars, it's a good purchase. Again, it's not a precision instrument to be used for checking uh, for high accuracy, but that's not what it's intended for. It's intended for use for checking electrical circuits, and also, you know, if you're an electrician or work on electrical lines, they'll let you know if the voltages coming through the lines, AC or DC, are correct, and it also tell you if those lines are live, particularly if they're AC voltage. And so, um, I thank you for watching this video, and take care.